Hey everyone, Feliz Navi Vlog Day. I am so excited for this video. I am going to make the most easiest, delicious Christmas treats that anyone can make. Candy cane chocolate dip pretzels. Then we're gonna take a tour of a winter wonderland that I created for our crawfish Larry. And lastly, don't forget, we have day nine and 10 of our advent calendar that we're gonna do today. But first, let's go ahead and pick up some ingredients for our treats. All right, you guys, going to Seder Brothers to get some of the pretzels and the chocolate and the peppermint. Pretty much uh, candy canes. <laughs> or should we just go to Dollar Tree? Nah, let's go to Seder Brothers. All right, guys, so we're, let's get the pretzels first. I have a ton of pretzel sticks and rods, but I'm gonna try to save those for other desserts. <laughs> Should we just do one pounder or the craving? And then you can I think those are good size. All right, I found some. So this is 12 for 199. I'm gonna get three boxes. I'm the kind of person who I like to have more than not enough. <laughs> so this one is it. Next, let's get some chocolate. All right guys, so I am at Seder Brothers, like you know. So I like this brand of white chocolate. It's really good and it melts really easily. And then I got the dark chocolate one. So I think we should all be set to make us some pretzels. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, I'm getting to Michael's very close to my house. I'm very excited about this. <sighs> this is gonna be very dangerous. Very exciting. All right, guys, I'm back from the store and I'm ready to make some candy cane chocolate pretzels. Ooh, one of my <laughs> favorites. You got all the ingredients here. What is the first step? So you want to get your candy canes prepped up. So I used a whole box and I made sure to take them out of the plastic and they're in this cup. You took them out of the plastic? Well, AKA my people, AKA Jared. <laughs> so candy canes are out of the plastic. What is next? What do you got to do? I'm going to need a bag. So hand it over. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you're gonna place the candy canes in the bag. Okay, I'm very curious on what you're gonna do next. We're gonna crush them. And I don't have room with all of this stuff, so we need to get rid of this okay. stuff. Say less. All right, thank you, cameraman. Okay, so what do you need in order to crush this? I'm gonna use the pot, so hand it over. Thank you, thank you. So you're just gonna make sure it's smashed very fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's supposed to be coming out of the bag? Yeah, that's how you know it's working. <laughs> oh my god, it's everywhere! <laughs> oh, my finger is very close. It's seeping out of the seams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I recommend maybe more of a heavy duty bag. <laughs> You're not gonna put those in the blurry. <laughs> well, it's clean, it's clean. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna just put it to the side so we have to throw it out. <laughs> okay, okay, we won't eat that, we won't eat that. All right, so next we're gonna wanna melt our chocolate so we can dip our pretzels in. Delicious, and a very clean working area. <laughs> well, you guys know it's very important to keep our area clean when cooking, so we cleaned up after smashing the candy canes. Next, we're gonna melt our chocolate. You can use both white chocolate and dark chocolate, but as you can see, a handsome camera of mine got into the white chocolate, so we're gonna use this one first. I'm going to pour the chocolate in there, and I'm gonna pour the rest of it since they did not leave me too much left to work with. And Life then, hack, it tastes delicious in yogurt. <laughs> and then we're gonna take it to the stove where we're going to put two cups of water into our pot okay. and place our glass bowl on top. We're gonna place the heat on medium to low and we're gonna continuously stir as it starts to melt. It's gonna Ooh, take a few minutes. <laughs> it's looking delicious. So the reason why it's so important to have your setting on medium to low is because you don't wanna burn the chocolate. Slow and steady always wins a race. Very well said. <laughs> so is this kind of close to the consistency you want or? You want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Almost there. Okay, so what are you going to do once it's there? What is the next step? So I'm going to pour it into a small bowl where I can dip the pretzels in. Ooh, looks very <laughs> naughty. Delicious. All right, guys, now that we've got our candy canes crushed and our chocolate melted, let's get these pretzels going so we can start dipping. The 
very healthy treat too, right? Aren't pretzels pretty healthy for you? Are they good? I'm gonna say they're healthy, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so walk us through this. What All are we doing here? All right, so you're gonna wanna take the pretzel and you're gonna wanna dip just about halfway in. Ooh. <laughs> and then you're gonna want to dip it into the candy cane. Wow. And then place it on tar uh, parchment paper. And why parchment paper for those that don't know? It's just going to be easier for you to remove the pretzels off of it and it's not going to like stick onto foil or things like that. Okay, okay. So where did you see this recipe? I actually saw it on Pinterest one day. They always have really great, like cool looking uh, treats and desserts for the holidays. They're just so good. And with the mixture of the pretzel, because you're not dipping it all in chocolate, it's just like a nice mixture of all three. So I think that's a secret is to not dip the whole pretzel in. Last one. Now it's time to chill these out. All right, in order to get the chocolate to fully harden, we're gonna have to put these in the fridge. Cameraman, pop in the fridge. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. While those pretzels chill in the fridge, let's say hello to Larry, our crawfish. Hey, Larry. Don't mind the algae, it's a sign of a healthy tank. Yeah, so it might be molting soon. <laughs> if I have a video, I'll put it in there. Look at this guy. Oh, so cool. Explain his wonderland. Yes, so we place some garland all around this little corner and then up the wall, we wrapped it around with some lights to make it look super festive. Framed beautifully. Thank you. Down below, you'll see a thick layer of melting oh, ice. It's <laughs> freezing right here. And here, no big deal, just a very exclusive uh, popcorn tin from Disneyland. It moves around and it plays a beautiful song. Wow, they recycle their popcorn <laughs> tins very fancy at Disneyland. Okay, and moving on, tell yes. us about Larry's Village. We have a little whimsical village here with a house to here and a church and a little red truck in the middle with little baby Walter in the bed. And down here in the corner, we have the melting Bob the Snowman. Oh, uh, poor Bob. <laughs> Larry, are you liking it? Oh, he's loving it, he already told me. All right, now, let's go check on some pretzels, see how chill they are. Look at those. That's how you make it, guys. It's very simple and they look so scrumptious. Are you ready to try one? Let's do it. All right. Mm. Hmm. It tastes exactly like peppermint bark, which is my all time favorite holiday treat. So I couldn't be more pleased with this right now. I don't even like pretzels and I'm gonna eat the rest of the pretzel. <laughs> so what, how would you rate it? Easily a 10. What? Easily a 10. But you know what I would rate an 11? What? The advent calendar. <laughs> All right, we've got some major making up to do. Let's get started on day nine and 10 of our advent calendar.
All right, everyone, that's day nine and 10 of our advent calendar. We'll see you tomorrow, but until next time, we're gonna try not to eat all of these pretzels. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. This is the vlogmas of Sandia. I